the story that Cynthia has that's way beyond just dancing and what dancing meant to her and the depth to which it changed her life. So here I was talking with Reverend Bill through my spiritual community and Dancing with the Divine evolved. A choreographed sermon evolved. A choir came forth. The music, the dance, and the people. I've been coaching dancing for over 30 years. I made this a career to share with people that you can do it too. She's danced literally, figuratively, metaphorically, and spiritually with the divine her entire life. And I was taken to the hospital by ambulance. I didn't know what was going on, <laughs> but I remember leaving my body and seeing the bruises. The, I'm not gonna go into the details, but it was very traumatic where I really recall that there was a flat line that happened. That night I died, but with divine intervention, I survived. It's a story of inspiration, it's a story of transformation, it's a story of real deliverance. I was just really moved, moved to tears. As I was feeling better, I strolled out of there one day and took a walk. Mind you, I wasn't really dancing much, I was hardly strolling but I came across a storefront window, and in that window was that picture, a big picture in the full window of the storefront. And I looked, how elegant, how safe, how a man and woman could be together, like this, not what I just came from. I strolled through that door, and it changed my life. And I've been dancing ever since. And so that's what I hope that she takes forward. And that's my, my intention is that she does. She takes this forward into many, many different communities and is able to share this heartfelt story. And we'll all be better off from hearing it in hearing how she has danced with the divine. When I say to find the happiness I see.